I discovered McQueen. There's lots of people who say, I discovered McQueen. No one discovered Alexander McQueen. Alexander McQueen discovered himself. Well, I discovered McQueen for myself. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and I have almost zero interest in fashion and even less so in the fashion industry. The only two designers I know by name are Karl Lagerfeld, because you simply can't grow up in Germany without getting exposed to him at some point, and the other one is Tom Ford, because he directed one of my favorite films of all time, A Single Man. And the only McQueens I knew about before this documentary were Lightning McQueen, who I wish I didn't, and Steve McQueen. And Steve McQueen. So why did I watch this film? Because right now it's at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and I had a chance to catch it before its release date next Friday. And I have to say that I don't regret it at all. I knew absolutely nothing about the British fashion designer Lee Alexander McQueen before and a documentary directed by Ian Bonhout and Peter Edetgui completely immersed me. It's a very intimate look at the life of a man with great talent, but also inner demons. It's also a man who, at least in his younger years, I would never ever associate with the fashion industry and it was fascinating to see how he made a name for himself and how he changed things up in the fashion world. It's a kind of from rags to riches story and it has a strong connection to the dark and macabre throughout because those elements were an integral part of McQueen's life and a big influence for his work. And while the film shines a light on the person McQueen, on his upbringings, his family, friends, lovers and his inner demons as well, its main focus is always Lee's work itself and I found this to be a great entry point to his life. Like many great artists, for me it's always David Lynch who comes to mind first, McQueen said that his passion, his art, is his way to communicate. If you want to learn something about the person Lee Alexander McQueen, you have to look at his art and just how much his designs and more so his fashion shows are works of art becomes very clear early on in the film and I absolutely loved how the film could bring those shows back to life for the audience. The film is structured in chapters or rather in tapes and each of them moves along one of his collections and fashion shows. There's a lot of archive material, a lot of old VHS footage of his public appearances, of old interviews and of course of the those shows. And it's combined with new interviews led by the people who were close to him. His sister, former lover, friends and so on. It's a great depiction of someone with a strong vision and a sheer endless passion for his craft. Am I all of a sudden a fashion lover after this film? Of course not, but I'm happy that I got a glimpse into a world I had no connection to before and it might sound a bit pretentious but I do think one gets a better understanding of the artistic element of fashion with this film. It's not just making giant weird costumes that probably no one would or could wear in normal life. It's a way to communicate and deal with certain themes and ideas. McQueen's shows were very theatrical and his models weren't just wearing and showing off new clothes, but they were really acting and becoming one with this big art piece. There were a lot of big emotions involved in experiencing a fashion show by him and I think it's the film's biggest achievement that it's able to evoke that atmosphere and feeling once again. It's also a film that celebrates being different and being yourself and its craziness and especially that rather bad taste 90s flavor that is all over a large part of the film is rather contagious in the most positive way. But again, this isn't just a happy celebration of Alexander McQueen and later on it gets very dark and sad and the film doesn't omit his darker sides. At the same time, it doesn't arrogate to give a full analysis of his psyche and explain every last detail of his persona. No documentary can or should. But it gives you a fascinating glimpse of his life and his art and therefore I wholeheartedly recommend it to everyone who has an interest in fashion but also to people who want to learn something about it or are just curious about a well-made biographical documentary. In German I'd say, McQueen ist eine intime und faszinierende Doku, die für knapp zwei Stunden das betörende, bewegende Werk dieses Künstlers wieder aufleben lässt. I give McQueen 8 out of 10. It's more like 7.7, but I don't do that. We can all be discarded quite easily. There you're there, you're gone. 
<laughs> it's the jungle out there. All right, that's it. Like always, comment below and let me know what you think about McQueen. Do you plan to see the film? Have you already? And are you familiar with the work of Alexander McQueen? You can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.